Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Would you believe me if I told you that this is a filament table? Yep, I'm not kidding. Look at the source. Table with columns. It's just that filament allows you quite a lot of customizations here. If you take a look at the docs of layouts, you have quite a big flexibility to change how your table looks with things like stack, split, and grid. So in this video, I will show you the main parts of the source of this table. I got the idea and the inspiration for that while browsing Upwork for filament examples ideas and found this in one of the project descriptions and I thought, hmm, this is a data table with filters. Just each row of that table is shown as a card. So would it be possible in filament? And I asked my colleague Nerius to try and as a result we have a new project in our filament examples table as grid with cards. And traditionally, when we release a new project on Filament Examples as a premium project on YouTube, I summarize it into a short video with core functionality shown. So let's take a look. There's a table with columns, but then the column is layout grid. So we have a grid with one column and then down below we have content grid setup with different breakpoint for medium and excel screens and then inside of that grid what do we do we make a split and inside of that split one on the left side is a grid for just the image and then another the right part is stack make with a lot of information for text columns so these are all columns of the table just positioned differently again see how it looks this is a split this is a grid and this is a stack with text columns. Also, each column may be styled differently, which is exactly what we did here. So one of the columns, details action, is just overridden with HTML string rendering the filament button with the URL to view the details of that record. Also, a few more things to emphasize is grow false which is in the docs preventing a column from creating white space if we don't do grow false here for example we refresh and we have the space here right also finally we added extra attributes with css class for stack make for the right side then extra attributes for rounded md for the image so to fully achieve something like that you need to know CSS classes, understand things like MD and Excel, and also experiment a lot with that stack, split, and grid. Also on top of that, since you have that as a table, you can also do filtering. So on top, we can have locations like BL and the filter works well. So this is a proof that it is actually a table. What do you think? Are you as impressed as I was when I saw that code? And what is possible with filament? Let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you want the full source, I will link that in the description below. It's one of the projects of filamentexamples.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.